All right, same case. I had adjusted it before over there in the yard, I don't know, a week or two ago. We just got the new tires. They've all been filled solid. Never have to worry about a flat again. It's a little pricey up front, but never ever have to worry about a flat on a job. Um, so I got it adjusted over there and I drove it over here to get the tires off. And it was like into trying to do wheelies on me and it seems like it changed. I don't know what was what what went on, but I just adjusted it again. Uh, these these linkages here. Uh, let me see if I can set the light here so you can point. This one here needed to be pushed that way because the wheels went backwards. The wheels on the other side were going backwards too, but this one needed to be pulled in to make it stop. And uh, I'm going to show you this time again uh, exactly what's going on. I've, like I said, I've already adjusted it, so this is what it should look like when you're done. Start it up. find the leak and then put all the covers back on and this thing should be done this thing sure looks nice with those fresh new tires these are the heavy duty ones that stay flat even when they're filled you can see how flat that is these are some camso sks real nice tires and uh, we took it up to rice tire in hagerstown it was like 718 bucks to get them filled, which, uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of money up front. But uh, it definitely is going to be worth it in the long run because uh, these tires should should last the life of the machine, unless he's on a lot of pavement, uh, which he might be doing plowing snow. They should definitely last a good long time. So, uh, oh yeah, also I think I'm supposed to fix the. Uh, the lights to put a switch in or something well, that's not the major just a little thing besides that it's got a leak you can see the fresh oil uh, I think he was saying he thinks it's these lines yeah you can see they're wet so I think we're gonna just go ahead and put two new lines on there they pinch when you shut the door here so I'll have to look into what I can do to take care of that for them make sure that doesn't keep happening so you don't want that to happen with the new lines either. I think what I'll do is I'll start them up here, like obviously, and then bring them down. But I'm going to bring them down lower. I think I'm going to bring them down underneath of the here, and then up, and that'll let you have a lot more room. And then the line will be long enough. And then when you close the door, instead of getting pinched here, which is what's happening here and here, it would go up through there and be less likely to be pinched. So, uh, but yeah, you can see it dripping. It's definitely leaking. I have another case. Something about cases lately and leaking. I got another one sitting over here. 1840, same model, a little bit older. Uh, they got a really big leak somewhere down in the middle. I've got to pull the, pull the cab forward. 
get the bucket up in the air, pull the cab forward, and then uh, figure out where it's leaking and what's going on. And then besides that, uh, I think they want me to do some maintenance to this thing. I'm not sure on that though. So, uh, let's see what's going on in here. Something, something in there. Oh, that's the, uh, well, I don't see those very often anymore. And these guys, that's a, uh, for starting fluid. Yep. You screw your starting fluid can on there. It helps it start. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. Anyhow. So that's the other 1840. Get this going.